So this is one of the most frustrating things I've ever had to deal with Google Forms and Google Sheets. Basically, people want to respond to a Google Form and fill in information, and they cannot. I create a Google Form, I want responses to it. Why are people not able to add information? And I'm gonna show you one of the settings that is not just optional, it happens every time. A normal way we create a form is we have a sheet, and we go up to Tools, create a new form. You'll do this every single time, right? When we create the form, there is a setting we have to change in order for other people to give us responses and I'm going to show you that right here. So it's going to have the for the name of the form here. We're going to say event sign up, right? We're going to do something like, hey, give us your email address and we will give put you on the list to attend, right? And we're going to now send it out. Let's get the link, copy that link, open an incognito window and we can see, oh my god, nobody can get to this form. Why not? I'm going to show you why and how to fix it. Let's click out of here. Up here, I'm going to move my face here. You have questions, responses, if anybody actually responds, and settings. Go here to settings, okay? And now, right here, responses. Manage how responses are collected and protected. They are automatically protected. Scroll down here, click that arrow or chevron, and here, require sign-in. Restrict the users in better sheets. Unclick this, and now, magically, people can respond. So let's go and preview this. This is a live form. Open an incognito window, and let's see if we can access it. Yes, we can access it. Here's my email address, Andrew at Andrew.com. It's not my real email address. Sign up. I signed up. Is my email here? Yes, it is. It is here on form responses. So that will let people who are not in your organization actually fill in your Google form. I hope this helps you a lot.